Hey everybody, it's Jerry, and uh, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is look at a couple of PC optimization um, programs. The first one, as you can see here from my browser, is the Oslogix Boot Speed 5. Now, um, I have this on my own PC, my host machine. And um, the reason why I'm bringing you this video is because personally, I think that Boost Speed 5, I think I said Boot Speed, it's, it's Boost Speed 5, is um, it's a great piece of software. Um, I haven't had any issues with the software deleting files that it shouldn't. Um, it's got a lot of great features that uh, uh, on the Oslogix website, it, uh, it gives you some... Um, some tools, a list of different tools that it does, it cleans up your system and frees up disk space, fix and defrag the registry, defrag your hard drives, recover accidentally deleted files, which is great, uh, optimize your internet connection, and not a lot of optimization um, programs have. <clears throat> um, tweak numerous Windows settings, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, control your hard drive health and space usage, protect your privacy. Uh, it has a, a bunch of different tools that we'll go over. Um, and it gives you testimonials, features, and screenshots. Um, it's got the system scan, the file recovery, disk explorer, your disk doctor, uh, similar to what's built into your um, computer your defrag, both your hard drive and your registry, a disk cleaner, again, similar to uh, a C cleaner or, or the uh, cleaner that's built into your Windows, uh, registry cleaner, internet optimizer, tweak manager. The tweak manager is pretty good because it gives you a list of things that you can tweak on your system and then you either choose to um, perform that task or you can ignore it or hide it permanently and it won't ask you. Uh, track Eraser, uh, it gives you uh, all of the traces on your computer that uh, would be a good idea to delete and uh, it also tells you how severe the risk is which is um, which is pretty cool. Duplicate File Finder, I find that if you have your computer set up to dual boot you need to be very careful with uh, Duplicate because it scans all your drives and um, you know, there is a chance that if you have something loaded on 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 both operating systems that you have installed, it might delete something that it thinks is a duplicate because you might have that uh, piece of software loaded on both of your um, operating systems. Again, if you have it dual booting, so it's got a bunch of different features. Your startup manager, it's got an uninstall tool that's built into it. Uh, it looks at all your services that are running. Um, it tells you, um, similar to a task manager, how much of, uh, of a the CPU that you're running, how much uh, memory that it's running. Uh, it gives you system information. So a lot of uh, a lot of great features for boost speed. So here is the let me minimize this. Here is the installer. So uh, we'll go ahead and install it, and we'll take a look at what it looks like. So give me one second for this thing to, to move. My last video, I did uh, Kaspersky Pure, which I still have loaded here, and it's updating. So it's kind of slowing the system down a little bit. I think I mentioned in my uh, in my Kaspersky videos that Kaspersky really needs to work on their uh, resource usage because it uses a lot of CPU and, uh, and memory, and that's kind of evident here because <laughs> um, this computer is not really moving all that much. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, here's our setup wizard. If you click next, just like any other program, you accept the terms. Next, 
tells you where you want to put it. Um, create a desktop, desktop icon, sure. Quick launch, nah. I'll run the program when I log on, nah. Um, it's always a good idea to read this stuff because sometimes they kind of throw in a, um, you know, hey, can you load uh, Yahoo toolbar or ask.com toolbar so they can, you know, get, I mean, it's good. They can try to make money off of that, but it's kind of a pain if uh, you don't notice it. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, where'd that come from? So I always kind of read these, um, these ins I go through these installers and, and I really don't go crazy hitting the uh, next button. So it's installing. Um, normally, when I install this on my own host machine, this went pretty quick. So uh, it uh, it's a little bit slower on the virtual machine, but uh, this should go pretty quick, hopefully. Now this is version five, and uh, I know that they recently came out with a version five. Uh, so I think I have the older version on uh, on my host machine, and Auslogix is one of those that um, you know if they upgrade the software, they want you to buy the uh, the newer version at a discounted price, which is kind of not it's not very cool to do that, but whatever. The version I have works as well. It works well, so I'll just stick with that. Okay, so the install is done. We're just waiting for it to boot up here. I think. right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is what the main interface looks like. You have, um, again, similar to um, CCleaner or other optimization tools, programs, you can um, do a system scan and find any uh, traces of um, files or folders that you don't need. So we'll go ahead and do a scan. Uh, wait for that to finish, and uh, when I come back, we'll see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it did that initial optimization scan, and as you can see here, it found 539 problems. Now, if you didn't watch my other videos, um, this is a virtual machine, but um, as I said before uh, on one of my first videos that I posted, this uh, virtual machine has been running for uh, a few months now. Um, as far as these videos was, is concerned, I didn't re really want to start with a fresh install because that kind of defeats the purpose of looking at a PC optimization um, um, program. So what I try to do is uh, I try to use a virtual machine for a few months use it regularly just like an, any average user would you would use a computer and then um, use these programs to make it look as um, real uh, or you know true to life as possible um, when when I do these reviews and uh, these tests and so on so um, th this uh, is the result of the optimization scan that initial scan that I just told you about Found a lot of junk files, um, current user temporary folder, internet downloads, media player temporary files, recent files, Windows temporary folder. For, um, so it, it goes through a registry as well. It looks at any invalid file associations or extensions, help file, install software, um, any paths that are, that are dead basically. So if you uh, click on any one of these, it will um, bring up another screen, and that screen will give you the details of what, um, where, where the path is, uh, and what the problem is or, or what the error is. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, if we look at file extensions. 
Uh, it tells you where the path is in the registry and what the problem is. Invalid file extensions, empty unused registry. Um, so that's, that's pretty good that it gives you a description of the issue. So we'll go ahead and uh, repair those. And once I do that, or once it finishes, I'll be back and show you other things. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, now, I just clicked on the System Advisor tab up here. And as soon as you click on System Advisor, it'll start detecting uh, any performance uh, improvements, um, potential security problems that you might have on your system. So we'll do a whole scan here. And once that's done, it'll come back and it'll give you some uh, suggestions on what to tweak in order to uh, improve performance on your PC. So I, uh, this is what uh, we were looking on the website, what it looks at as far as uh, tweaking internet connection and uh, all of that. So uh, I'll pause the video and uh, once that's done, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. The uh, system scan is still going and it's still optimizing, so uh, that hasn't finished. But I'll be back as soon as this finishes, it might be a little bit quicker. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, the system advisor scan finished. And as you can see, it found a bunch of suggestions. A everything from uh, disabling the error, error effects, uh, administrative share, uh, which can cause potential problems. Um, disable auto run, which can um, infect your computer with viruses if you auto run when you put disks in or what have you. Uh, do, not, do not save Internet Explorer encrypted data to disk. Disable certificate prop, propagation service. Uh, it says there's no smart card devices attached, so you know why use it? You can disable it. Um, so it, just going down the um, going down the list here, it just uh, you know it has a fax service. If you don't send faxes using using the computer, why have it enabled? You can disable it. So a lot of good recommendations. Uh, offline file service remote registry service, secondary login. If you only have one user, you know, you can disable it, obviously. Uh, smart card, if, you're not, if you don't have any smart card devices plugged in, you don't really need it. So it just goes on and on, and uh, it tells you that uh, disks need to be cleaned, which we're doing now. Um, enable boot defrag. Um, so when the, the when the program starts up, it could defrag uh, right at boot, so everything is kind of disabled at that point, and it can do a better job of defragging your drive. Uh, index, indexing service can be disabled. Uh, optimizing internet connection, that's a really good one. What it does is it goes, it, it kind of looks at your internet connection settings, and based on if you have cable or what have you, it will um, it will optimize it that way. Okay, so System Advisor resource usage is your uh, task manager. It'll uh, go through and it'll tell you what you're using for CPU, for RAM, for disk. Um, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is your system uh, uh, resource usage, and then you have advanced tools as well. Now, this is really good because under advanced tools, you have a bunch of different um, pieces of software that is incorporated into Boost Speed. So you have your disk maintenance, you have software control, you have system tweaks, you have disaster recovery, your internet optimization tool, uh, your system status, your registry maintenance, and um, so based on what you want to do, you can click on any one of these and optimize your PC that way. So I just wanted to give you kind of a, a look at um, boost speed and what it looks like. If you have any questions or comments, um, leave it on the channel. And uh, if you want to see anything specific, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching.